Hi, welcome to Volleyball 101. I wanted to shoot a quick video for newer volleyball beach players and indoor players that are really trying to get better at passing technique. And I met uh, Jack Warning. Hey, we met yesterday at the beach. Uh, super nice guy. Uh, just moved to Southern California from the Bay Area, is doing venture capital. And uh, he's only been playing for four months. And I was actually pretty impressed by his volleyball skills. So, great job. <laughs> Uh, he's got a background in tennis, but it was really interesting. There were some fundamental things that he is doing on passing that I've seen kind of proliferate because of April Ross. And I don't think she's got good technique. I actually think she's got bad passing technique. And he's doing some of those things, so I wanted to teach you and share some quick passing tips that I think will help you. Okay, so, Jack, to have some fun, you want to show us what you were passing and how you would start yesterday. Yes, sir. Okay. So let's see it. How would you be standing? So the first thing is when Jack is passing, you'll notice he stands like this. And you know, this is really a big popular technique since April Ross has become one of the best. And you know, one of the things that's interesting is just because somebody is great doesn't mean that they've got great technique. And if you look at this, the reason I don't like this is because more is not more. Okay. I want to say less is more. So one of the things that we first teach is what happens is because his arms are here, he has to bend them down and then go up. And he was starting up here and he'd go down and up. Plus there's all this extra bending motion, more options to make mistakes. So we showed him a very simple thing, okay, hands on your knees. And we go from hands on your knees to straight. Hands on your knees to straight. Now what I like to do is notice how his arms on a straight line and his shoulders are like this. Now one of the things people go, well, don't I want my arms bent? Come well, on. in beach volleyball, you're never allowed to hand set it. So you're never going to do that. Even in indoor volleyball, that is not actually the preferred technique because most of the time when you're hand setting, you're stepping up. So it's much better to keep your arms straight and notice how they come straight off his legs. I just taught him this. You're a smart guy. Okay. <laughs> and come off and do you see how they're ready so now he's not doing all this extra motion and the arms come together and go up okay very very good the second thing that we focused on yesterday was yeah okay i told you so he used to do veg capital he actually does you know, baby food baby food That's so they sell like organic homegrown delivered baby, baby food wonderful stuff here in california okay so Show us how you're holding your hands previously. Okay, and you'd see he'd be focused more in just a wide platform, which is great. But the problem was is he's grabbing his thumb. Show me how you're grabbing it. And it looks good, but occasionally, let's say 20% of the time, 10% of the time, his platform wasn't perfect, so it would shank off in a direction or another. So what we did was I showed him how to grab his hands. And what I like to do is have your thumb running in a straight line, and do you see how he's going to grab this hand? Notice how the fingers are pointing this direction. So you see how easy that is? Now, if you're a coach or parent, okay, notice what I do. I smack those hands, okay? Why do I do that? So he learns to keep the fingers solid and then grab. And the verbal cue I like to use is thumbs are parallel, thumbs are parallel, thumbs are parallel, thumbs are. Straight. Parallel, thumbs are parallel, thumbs are parallel, you can say parallel. parallel. Oh, thumbs okay. are parallel <laughs> and wrists are together. together. Wrists are together. So if you focus on those two verbal cues, thumbs are parallel, wrists are together, almost every single time the platform is going to be perfect. So we're going just back to the simple basic thing. Arms, hands are on the knees and then they come straight in line with the shoulders. Notice how this hand is ready. Tap the fingers, thumbs are parallel, wrists are oh, tight. Together. Uh, together. Thumbs are parallel, wrists are together. Together. Okay. I'll try to shoot some other videos around this, but I think that is really the basics for starting. If you're a volleyball coach and you're really interested in superior coaching systems, we've developed the first franchise like volleyball coaching system for high schools and clubs where we literally have all these verbal cues set up. Uh, hey, Jack. What do you love about beach volleyball? It's just so much fun, yeah. Okay, and he's played all kinds of sports. He came to LA and he's like been here for four months and he's just addicted. So like the greatest game, if you can come play, is beach volleyball. 
Uh, we're on that journey to what great looks like with my son. Our goal is by 2021, he's one of the best in the world, kind of like Anderson saw him. We're working hard. So join us on that journey. If you're a parent or coach and you're working towards what great looks like, come join us. And if you're in Southern California, you want to get some baby food or play yeah, some volleyball, there we go. <laughs> this is our friend Jack Warnick. Okay, have a great day. Thank you. Check out all the videos at volleyball101.com.